Hello, this is Rhonda of Green Glass. What I'm trying to do here today is to show you a little bit about cutting glass. Um, we have a uh, Toyo Supercutter right here with a pattern head on it. Um, here is a uh, running pliers, okay? So basically it has a little frown. I don't know if you can see that. Um, yeah, has a little frown. Um, we use it quite a bit. So uh, we've already replaced the clear pads with um, electrical wire, okay? And so uh, also just a marker and some clear glass, okay? You can kind of see our, that's kind of cool, see our angel in the window. Um, there we go. Anyway, this is just regular double strength window glass, okay? And I've already scored it because I was wanting a 4x4 four four for a project. Uh, four inch by four inch square. And what I did right there to get this little piece off is I used the running pliers and I lined it up so that the frown is in the center. And what it did was it applied pressure and kind of pulled it apart. It's kind of getting the, the horse before for the cart, but here we go. All right. When you cut glass, there's a little wheel on the top of this, okay, and it's a wheel cutter is what it's called, okay, and what it does, it doesn't cut all the way through the glass, it breaks the surface of the surface tension of the glass itself. And so when you do cut glass, you're basically, um, it's kind of like if you put a crease in a piece of paper and then tear it. Um, you're kind of hoping it goes that way. Um, it's one of those things. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to draw a line on it. Basic cutting. You want to go from one edge to the other, um, whichever way you're, you're comfortable with. You, Left-handed, right-handed, or what have you. I like to go forward because I like to see where I'm going, but you can go backwards, um, that kind of thing. So I'm going to cut along this line and listen to it. All right. Hear that? I applied a lot of pressure to it, maybe more than I needed to, but you can kind of see it. But it didn't really chip or what have you. And I'm going to go ahead and do this well, or you can actually use your fingers and put your thumb or fingers right underneath beside the line that you cut, right? And then your thumbs on top, and you kind of pull down and out. All right, so that's what you've got right there, down and out. All right, and so you've got that cut. You go from one edge to the other. If you stop, I mean, you can go over it again. It doesn't work so well. Say like, okay, if you just go part way up, all right, it has to go from one edge to the other. So you do that. You don't stop. Okay, so what happens? It doesn't cut where you want it to cut. Okay, it'll break, it'll go someplace. All right, I've had a lot of, I've taught a lot of classes over the years. Just about every class, everyone wants to cut a square. Okay, so like you want to cut this, right? Well, that's not possible. Okay, uh, you can cut in and you can do like a little rounded thing and we'll show you that in a minute, but this just doesn't work. A try. It just doesn't happen. All right, so you always, unless you want this piece right here, and that'll work, but the inside piece, it's just not a natural way that the glass will break. And even if you do get this, and I've had people do this before, but even if you do get it to land like this, there's a great big chance that it'll break in the panel later on uh, across like that. So that's a piece to be avoided. And something that you might want to look at, some of the, the stained glass windows that you see, if they have a piece like that, either it's drawn on or they, they sawed it, it's just... Most patterns, look at the patterns, they don't have that right angle, okay? But you want to go ahead and do a curve, all right? Say like you want to go back up here and then go in through here, okay? What you do, you can do that. 
but do it in pieces, okay? And what you need to do, let me see, okay, you take that off first, okay? And you can use your breaker grosers, wait a minute, these are the breaker grosers, and you want to have the flat side up when you're doing this. This is more for chewing on the glass, and we'll go over that just for a second. But here you can do this. Put it right up next to the line near the edge. Pull out and down. Okay? So we've got that started. And you do a little bit of bite at a time. Okay? So you go in and you do maybe that. All right, flat side up, out and down, okay? And I like to not go the whole thing. You can go ahead, make sure that I'm in the camera here. You can go ahead and do the whole thing, right? But don't break it out just yet, okay? Go ahead and get inside a little bit more and take out little bites at a time. So what I've done... Maybe you can see that, maybe you can't, but I've done, you know, just a couple of those, right? The natural way that the glass wants to go is to go straight, right? And you have a chance that it will break off this tip or that tip, that kind of thing. So, uh... Whenever you do cut uh, an inner, you know, a, a curve like this, if this is what you want to save, do it first. Next to the edge, do it first. And so if it doesn't come out the way you want it to, you can move the pattern back and try again. So, you know, always do the hardest pieces first. Okay. I think that's not as smooth as I wanted it to be, but there we go. Um, the Toyo Super Cutter, wheel cutter, that cuts the tension on the top, right? Um, the uh, running pliers, that's a little bit of a frown that you can just squeeze and it'll, it'll run the, the line for you. And the breaker grosers, where, uh, oh yeah, flat side up, um, and this is where you chew on the glass. You have this on there, and you can do this, right? But I don't like doing that, but that can give you uh, a little bit more ability to manipulate your glass. All right, this is Rhonda of Green Glass. Thank you so much.